Two of the big differences between the Carnival Mardi Gras and the Carnival Celebration is that two of the zones have changed. In this episode, we're gonna show you what those two different zones are, and it's all coming up. As many of you know, the Excel class ships to include the Carnival Mardi Gras and the Carnival Celebration are divided into six separate zones. Well, the Carnival Celebration and the Carnival Mardi Gras, they're very much alike. In fact, they're a mirror image, but the main thing that is different between those two ships is that two of the zones have changed. Well, if you wanna know what the difference exactly is, this is the episode for you because we're gonna show you what those two different zones are, so let's check it out. So on deck number eight on the Carnival Mardi Gras, there was the La Piazza zone, but on the Carnival Celebration, they have 820 Biscayne. Let's go in and check it out. This zone is called 820 Biscayne because this is the year of the 50th celebration for Carnival, and 820 Biscayne is where it all started for Carnival. That's the address where Carnival Cruise Line has its roots. So in 820 Biscayne, you will find five different things. You will find Bar 820, Sucina del Capuchano, Miami Slice, Deco Deli and Rudy Seagrill. As far as the functionality goes, you will find the exact same things as you found on the Carnival Mardi Gras. The only thing is that the names have changed. For example, the bar is now called Bar 820 and the pizza place is now called Miami Slice. Also, the decor has changed. Instead of being that Italian flavor that you had all around, it is strictly Miami vibe, which means that you have the neon lighting, you have the music and stuff that flows with the Miami vibes all around. I actually really, really like flamingos. Aren't these guys cute? Wondering if I should be a little jealous. <laughs> He's giving me a kiss. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> and the other zone that is different is a zone that on the Mardi Gras is called the French Quarter Zone located on decks number six and seven. Here on deck six and seven of the Carnival Celebration, it is called the Gateway Zone. Again, you have the exact same spaces, what they have done, they've swapped things around a little bit and they call them by a different name. Let's check it out. Now, one thing you'll notice as we go throughout this zone is that the decor has changed. With the French Quarter Zone, it was all about New Orleans, but at the Gateway Zone, it is all about different cities and they changed the TVs around, different things to give this the vibe of just going throughout the world, which is exactly what Carnival Cruise Line does. There are four different spaces you'll come to in the Gateway Zone. On deck number six, the first space you'll come to is the Golden Jubilee Bar. Again, the exact same as you'll find on the Carnival Mardi Gras. It just has a different name and it's not quite as open. It's more enclosed. There's certainly different decor and the stage has flipped to a different spot. Other than that, it is pretty much the same, but look, it is a really cool spot and one of Kelly and my favorite places to hang out. When you go around the corner on deck number six, you'll come to the Latitudes Bar. The Latitudes Bar is along the main walkway as you're going back and forth through on deck number six on the ship. Again, the only big change you find from the Mardi Gras is that they flip the actual bar from one side of the walkway to the other, change the decor. Other than that, it's exactly the same. As you continue walking on that main walkway on deck number six, you come to the next spot in the gateway zone, and that is Emerald's Bistro. Now, Emerald's Bistro was also on the Carnival Mardi Gras, for those of you that are familiar with that ship. So what has changed between the Carnival Celebration and the Mardi Gras? Well, what they've done is they've taken the restaurant from one side of the walkway and the seating, and they've swapped the two. Other than that, the space is pretty much the same. And then there is one final space in the gateway zone, and that is actually up a really neat flight of glass stairs to deck number seven, where you will find the Alchemy Bar. Now the Alchemy Bar, they've swapped nothing around. Not gonna confuse you if you've been on the Carnival Mardi Gras. The bar's in the same place, the seating is in the same place, so not a lot of change there other than the decor. So look, if you are looking to sell on the Carnival Mardi Gras, the Carnival Celebration, or any other cruise ship, Look, we have plenty of other videos, so subscribe and hit the bell so you can check those out. And also, if you need help booking those cruises, 
Kelly is an amazing travel advisor. She has so much experience, especially with Carnival Cruise Line. She is ranked every single quarter as one of the top travel advisors with them. So if you need some help with that booking, look down in the video description. You'll find the email where you can book directly with her. You're not dealing with one of our side agents, nothing like that. You'll be speaking directly with Kelly. So we hope to hear from you soon and we'll catch you in the next video.